architecture, not just a building. It's everything. You know? So it's all about culture, it's about people, it's all about experience. Hi, my name is Shin. I'm an architect. I'm also the co-founder of RexKL. In the old practice, I've used to do a lot of commercial projects. But recently, I've been very involved in community and heritage projects, which I find it more meaningful in the pursuit of my career in the future. Uh, my name is Shin Chang, and I'm an architect. Uh, I run a firm called Mental Matter Design, and i also running a few restaurants in 2016. I got an opportunity from this landlord. They approached me, they said, hey, are you interested to take over this building? We realised that this building has its rich history and memories, right? They're buried under the, the past. My question is always, how do we make a building better? And what we can do on pandan building? My interest is always on uh, macro scale. Talking about urban planning always look into practicality and also how do we involve in um, people. For example, you know, I always look at human skill, where how people touch it, how people experience the space, how people get into space, like what they see, you know, what they experience. What we're trying to do is simply relive that sort of uh, spirit. We try to bring back the glory days in terms of the celebration of creativity, uh, culture. February to me is a heritage brand and it has a long history uh, founded by uh, a legend. Right? From there on, it has evolved and adapted and changed you know, throughout the years and becomes a, a fashion statement for subculture, for um, indie society. But I find it very encouraging and empowering when you look at a heritage brand that never stops evolving and changing and that turns into something almost like a household name. In that sense, it resonates with the whole rest philosophy and values and how we can evolve and not look at a heritage brand or heritage as um, in a nostalgic value, uh, but in a progressive manner. Uh, in rest I didn't do much. Because I want to retain the original architecture. I want people to feel it. In fact, I think right, people should experience uh, the space before I, we do too much on it. We should think of something else or think creatively how to use the space. And it was a place for everyone to come and spend their time and to celebrate life. We try to create a platform that allows that to happen in downtown Kuala Lumpur, which is not very often. In, in today's society. It's, we try to be as inclusive as possible, but at the same time, focusing on providing a right and safe environment for this sort of uh, community flourish. So that's really the vision and the backbone of RexKL.